hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are out there thanks for following and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church sticker using adobe photoshop so let's begin now go to your then here i'm going to make use of 6 by 3 inches so you can see it here then i'm going to type the name i'm going to type sticker so you can see the number there 6 by 3 inches then i will leave the resolution at 300 then click on grid So this is our working area then i'm going to copy this color code here 530000 then go to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste then go to your test and I'll ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste i'm using the font roboto then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then apply a drop shadow so you can see i'm going to make use of this number here change it to four change the spread to six and leave the size by six then click ok then ctrl plus j to duplicate it then highlight it go back to your test now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size then i'm going to make use of this orange color then open the character spacing make it more lighter okay then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then reduce the font size a little bit all right then go back to your test again and i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then move it up then highlight it Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to use center alignment. Then bring it to the center here. Then I'm going to change the fonts. So I'm going to use the font here, Beba's New Pro. then close the space now increase the font size I will leave it like this then ctrl plus j to duplicate it highlight it ctrl plus a Go back to your test and I copy this one. Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. 
देन आउट ड्रा की चुपाई है देन आई एम गोइंग टू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस कलर देन गो बैक टू योर टेस्ट अगेन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी दिस वन कंट्रोल प्लस सी देन डुप्लीकेट दिस वन कंट्रोल प्लस जे Now bring it down to this position over here. Then apply left alignment. Select and align it. Control plus A. While you control plus B to paste. Now I'm going to increase the font size. Okay. Then position it at the center here. Then also drag the team to this position. Then copy this one, Control plus C. Then select your rent angle. Draw a rent angle over here. You change the color to white. Select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Then reduce the size. Select your test tool. And I'm going to change the font to Roboto. Now reduce the size again. Then I'm going to change the font color. Something like this. Okay. And go back to your test again. Then here I'm going to copy this color code BE4A1B. Then draw a rent angle. Then change the color. Control plus V to paste. Alright. Position it at the center, hold your shift key while you select. Now use your arrow key then to move it upward. Okay. Then come over to your test and copy Ctrl plus C. Change the font color to white. Now you can paste it. Then on this highlighted one, apply superscript. Select this one again and apply superscript. Position it over here. Duplicate it. Control plus C to copy. Then select Control plus A to highlight it. Then Control plus V to paste. Reduce the font size. Then I'm going to draw a right angle here. Then draw this rectangle right line over here. Leave it at white. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Sorry, I mean motion blur. Then 
then the distance is 70 96 so something like this then I'm going to copy this color code over here then select your rent angle to draw a rent angle line over here then I'm going to change the color ctrl plus v to cop to paste the color you copied then copy your test here ctrl plus c now ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size position it over here reduce the font size then apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to the select then paste this code here drag it over here So the color code is at the front front of the test. Now I'm grouping them. Okay, we are done with the grouping. So now move forward. So here are the images I'm going to use in this tutorial. If you want to know how to remove the background of an image, check this video here. So something like this. I will be a little bit faster here. I know you all know how to do this already. And please remember to help me join the membership. The member by joining the membership, you are helping me to acquire some of the things I need. Thank you for following. If you love what I'm doing, please kindly join the membership channel. So by joining the membership channel, you are assisting me to get what I've been unable to acquire all along. So please kindly join the membership and um, the super tanks shots these are the things that i require you guys to assist me by donating to help me achieve some of the things i need thank you so much for following i really appreciate you guys say thank you for staying with me now I'm going to proceed to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then 
duplicate then drag it over here Control A to alight then go to your test Control plus C to copy then Control plus V to paste All right, so we are done with this one. Thank you so much for staying with me. If you love what I'm doing, please kindly follow the membership channel. Remember to share, then comment under the comment sessions, and also tell me what you would like me to do in my next tutorial or what design you are expecting me to do in the in your next in my next design. I'm going to reply all your comments in the comment section. And for those of you who are asking for the resources, please assist me by joining the membership channel. Those fans on the membership channel will have access to the resources. And I'm going to give out the the template to all members in the membership channel so if you want to have any of this template please kindly join the membership channel and have the pick that i'm going to offer to the members thank you so much i love you guys and i appreciate your staying with me to apply blur 9.6 then apply your layer mask while you blend over here now import this one then you drag it over here you change your bloody mode to screen reduce the then apply your layer mask then while you blend the edges Then reduce the opacity to 63. Then import this image here. Then I'm going to position it at the top here. Drag it down. Then change it to soft light. Then you blend the edges. Then go to the opacity. Then reduce the opacity to 65%. Okay. Then go back to your resources. I'm going to import this one. Reduce the size a little. Then change the bloody mode to screen. Then apply your blur. 
Yeah, make it 12.5 then you click ok something like this then apply your layer mask and you blend the edges Then import the same image. Then position it at the top of this test. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Then reduce it. So you have something like this. Now group it, control plus G. Then increase the test. All right. Then select the first image. Go to your blur, Gaussian blur. Then apply seven point seven, seven point four. 7.4 is okay then you click so we have blur that image and you see the outcome of it okay now the next thing i'm going to bring this icon for the location Reduce the size. Okay. So we are done with that. Thank you so much for staying with me. And I really appreciate your following. Please remember to subscribe, share, like and comment. Thank you so much.